video number two, and I am Paviel French, a composer, artist, and I'm here doing the ACF toolkit for you all um, about my compositional process. So let's talk about that. So number one, how do I compose music? Um, usually I will freestyle or um, Im do some improvisation and just come up with a melody in my head. Then I will use my voice to capture that melody and really sync it in. And then I will record it on to GarageBand. And then I will use my MIDI keyboard in GarageBand to find those melodies on the keyboard and we start the song production from there. Um, usually uh, I do all actual instrumentation of any of the projects I'm working for. So if it's for the orchestra, then I will pull up all of the sounds in the orchestra on MIDI um, and have them track by track so that I can do each part. Or if it's just a band, um, I'll do the bass, the keys, the guitar, the percussion, the drums, um, and whatever instrument or whatever um, instrumentation for my voice. Um, so why uh, do I work with a transcriber? So basically when I write these pieces, I because I am improvising and because I'm freestyling, um, I'm not writing it out note for note. I don't do notation. Most of this work that, or just all of the work that I do rather comes from my heart and soul and um, just my knowledge of my instruments and how long I've been playing them and my experience. So I don't notate. I work with a musical partner uh, named Michi Wianko, who does my transcribing for all of my orchestral pieces or any notated pieces. Um, and I use a transcriber because um, she can translate what I have written to the players in a format that is scored for their instrument. Um, also, Michi can add dynamics and notation um, to help the musicians understand my writing style and my swing um, because I kind of write music in a different way. Um, and it's not that I don't read or uh, write actual sheet music. Um, I can sight read and I was trained in voice, uh, saxophone and piano um, and all of those things I had to be able to read music. So I do come from that background, but it's just more comfortable for me to work with the music from feeling. And there is more one, there is more than one way to be a practitioner in music and in art. So I am going to show you a quick demo on how I will put together a piece. So first I'm gonna pull up my garage band here and we'll get that started. The garage band is this DAW that I'm using um, for it, my MIDI keyboard so that I have a place to actually write the music. So what I'll do here is I will pull up a new project and I will use a microphone here. And so what I'm gonna do is the monitor is on, it's ready to record. So I'm just gonna freestyle, make sure we turn the metronome off. I'm gonna freestyle something that's in my head and then we'll make a quick little song out of it. Here we go. La da da, la da 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 da. La da 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 la da 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 da. Okay, so we got a little something. <laughs> so then I'll play it back for you so you can hear it. La da da, la da 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 da. La da 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 la da da. Okay, so we got a little something. Boom. So now this is the my voice wave. That's the first idea that I would start from. So since we have that now, I would add a MIDI track for my keyboard here. And it's in classic electric piano. I like to use wide suitcase. I think that's a nice sound. Okay, so what I would do is, let's see here. That seems like the key would be in. Let's see. Yeah. So 
That's how I would find it on the keyboard, right? Okay. So then I would record. I'm going to mute this here and I'll do that little piece. So I've got that in my head now. We're going to hit record. Right? So we got something like that. And then I will put them together just to see if it was close enough. Okay. So now that we have that, I would add another track, another MIDI. And this time, what do I think I want? I think I would start building and I would add a bass. Let's see what we pull in. So then we'll add a bass track. And I'll do this again. Okay, so now we got the bass in there, right? So then I would add one more track because I'm going to move on to the next video in just a second but i want to show you how i would just continue to add let's add one more thing and let's go add a drum kit so then i would find so we maybe we do something like so let me see how this sounds. We'll add the drums. So now, all together. And now I gotta start of a new project. That's how we do that there. All right, I'll see you in video three in just a bit. Listen to the